What's up, everybody? It's me, Erica. And we are down here, girl. I'm going to have some super long eyelashes on today. I have on just some regular. I did a DYI, but I'm about to order some DYI, some longer ones, because I want them to be longer, wispier. I'm just going to try. I'm going to just do a new set. The set that I have. I don't like the length of the lash. I mean, I guess I could do them all the same. I think they're 16. I think they're all 16, but I don't want them to be. Oh, I think I could do like 16, 16, 14. 16, 14. 14, 12. 10, probably. Right now I have, I don't know. I think these are 12. 12 or 10s. They're sh super short. But I just did it to fill in some gaps and stuff. See? See? Hopefully they're cute, I guess. Anyways, nothing really major is going on this weekend. I just did some relaxing, did some grocery shopping, some painting, some, um, you know, documentary watching. I watched some true crime stuff. If you're following me on Instagram. You saw that I was painting, um, making my little, oh, it's right here. It just so happens to be right here. I was painting yesterday. So this is what I painted. And then I painted also this girl here. My son has a, a book with all of these little characters, all different characters in them. So I was like, let me just use my paint. I just, this is watercolors. I used acrylic on this. I you know, you don't need to use acrylic on paper, but it's still fun. So I'd use watercolors. I use watercolors for her skin, but everything else is acrylic, it's little, you know, little acrylic. And this is all, this is all watercolor. This is all watercolor. Isn't she cute? My, yeah, see, they have little things on the little animations and stuff like that. So yeah, it's cute, isn't it? So, you know, I love a little geisha. I wish she had a little sword coming out from her back like my geisha. My geisha carries a sword. See her sword right here? My geisha also has an afro pick in her hair with some chopsticks. Get into it. Okay. Anyways. Um, yeah. So that's what I did this weekend watching. Um. The creator of Law and Order, they did some, they did a series, I think it was just called New York Homicide, and um, told like a series of stories about some crimes that happened in New York. Um, very interesting. They talked about that baby face killer, the girl who was 15 and her and her boyfriend killed some man in the park. Y'all remember that? She was a little narcissist, little local narcissist, loco, not local, loco, <laughs> loco en la cabeza. Mm. And then we got word that Candace has left Real Housewives of Potomac and Robin too. I was really happy to hear that Candace left. I Like I said online this morning, it was time for Candace to leave that bigoted, colorist um, country club. I said, I'm so glad that she, that she left. My Twitter was active this morning. I guess we can talk about things going on there. Weren't they supposed to come out with a Real Housewives of New Orleans? I feel like they should do, I feel like they should recast and reboot Real Housewives of Dallas and let Claudia Jordan be the center of it. I really, truly do. Or come, or I, I want a Housewives cast in Texas because Texas, there's money down there. So, I, I mean, people can, we can actually see, you know. Have you ever watched House of Ho? It's on Hulu. It's an Asian family, and they're in Houston. Crazy. Crazy. Okay? I don't know what's going on. I'm not touching it. I just, this is what it's going to do. Um, yeah. I I kind of don't want to talk about this because I said I wasn't going to talk about it anymore on my channel, but it was just like, um, Laverne Cox was dancing in the mirror. 
and posted it online. And so, of course, the blogs posted it. And, you know, the blogs, they like to post things to in incite and to trigger homophobia and uh, transphobia. So, of course, the comments were like very misgendering, saying that's not a woman, just saying all of these just, and just black black people, black people, just black people, women. Um, you'll never be a woman. One woman. This is I'm just going to read this and then we're going to move on. One woman said which I thought was actually actually kind of fucking crazy. She was like, um, <laughs> women don't even dance like this. That's what she said. Women don't even be doing all that. That's what she said. Hold on, let me find it. I'm trying to find it. I was like, what kind of miserable life? Everybody dances in the mirror. If you follow me on Instagram, I know you see me dancing in the mirror to, to songs and having a good time and singing a song and stuff, just having a good time with me and myself looking at myself in the mirror. A lot of you bitches need to be dancing in the mirror so you can love yourself more than you love these niggas. Because that's the only reason why y'all keep fighting with these trans girls. That's the only reason why you keep fighting with trans women because y'all don't have nothing to say about trans men. Y'all fight with the trans girls because... You first of all, you've never had an experience. You've never, you don't even know one personally, no one trans person personally, and you got all these ideas about something that you have never and will probably never ever experience because you'll probably never be in those spaces. And then I'll be looking at the comments and I'll be like, "Ooh, protect black women," but mm, okay, not the ones with penises. But at the same time, y'all be jumping up in front of black men like you need to save the day. So which is it? Pick it. Pick it, pick it. Y'all need to pick a fucking struggle. Either it's protect black women. Are you spinning around in phone booths? What is going on? What is going on? And no matter how many times you misgender a trans woman, that is not going to dissolve the attraction that the men that you love and suck cock and worship cock for all fucking day doesn't mean that their attraction is going to change for trans women. And I want trans women and I want cis women to stop centering men. Stop centering men. That's one, number one. Number two, your version of femininity has been designed by men. That's number two. Okay? So that's one and two. And I want cis women to stop saying that you are a natural born woman. No fucking body in the world is born a woman. No fucking body in the world is born a man. That's why we say you have an irrational fear because you make statements like I'm a natural born woman and that is technically and biologically impossible. Since you want to talk about biology. <laughs> and I'm like, what? I don't understand. I, I really don't. I really don't understand it. I'm actually glad Candace left that colorist, bigoted country club, R-H-O-P. Hopefully y'all will tank their viewership. Wendy needs to leave next. Give those mediocre whores what they want and all light skin cast. Give them their paddle boats, juice boxes, and Wawa sandwiches. Let, let Giselle have her sorority and y'all should tank that show. Like, honestly, I know so many people who have stopped watching the show. But y'all need to tank that fucking show and let them know and show the real power that you have. But see, y'all so knows that y'all got to see what, what the mess is happening. But I would tank that fucking show. Give them what they want. Let them let the mediocrity sink to the depths of hell. Let it. Let it. Let Giselle have her little light skin sorority. Let her relive her co-ed college days, honey. Let her relive that. Let her relive it. Shit. Shout out to Socially Stacy. She says, I've never been happy happier to see a departure from this franchise. Mama Dot tapped her on the shoulder and told her she was better than the show. And this experience experiment was a wrap. Exactly. And she is, especially that show. I remember Candace saying that she was going to stay for five seasons. I remember that. This is her sixth season. I'm glad she left. I'm glad she like checked herself and then decided like, 
honestly, if it was like mutually beneficial in terms of like it not being such a hostile work environment, okay, like I'll stay more than five years, but I'm giving it five years on the six years. It's still stupid. Y'all still dumb. Y'all still operating from the same template every year. It's bobble wobble head. Ashley over here with stovepipe legs coming up with some plan to bring somebody down. Girl, ain't nobody got time like that. Whoever told Giselle to operate from that template every single season, tell her to do something else because it's not working and people are opting out. I'm glad Candace left. And then another announcement came that Robin left. That Robin is gone. Yeah, Robin, you need to work on. I, I don't think it's a, a good business move, especially being that once I don't know if he's still unemployed or is he working. I don't know. Really, I don't keep up with Robin. I don't keep up with none of the housewives of Potomac except for through the balls. He is a I part sponsor of the, it. Now yes. I sponsor the Let ball. Let me tell you something. That's it. I haven't watched one episode of this season. I said I wasn't, and I've stuck to my guns. And the way that it's crazy because when you don't watch a show anymore and then you watch the discourse around the show and you're just like, everybody, no one is enjoying themselves. I promise you. And it baffles me as to why the executives and the producers at Bravo haven't stepped in and been like, look at the viewership. Yes, we like a little emotional baiting and getting the people riled up. But the people aren't even enjoying the show. This is not enjoyable. This is not entertaining. These people are, I guess, hate watching it. What do you call it? Doom watching, doom scrolling. Just watching it because you know some bullshit is about to happen. You know some BS is about to happen. So that might be the reason why people are watching it. But I've opted out and a lot of people have opted out even creators are like putting it behind a paywall like you gonna have to pay to see this if i'm gonna do this shit y'all gonna have to pay to see this and i don't blame them and i don't fucking blame them so robin is out candace is out from the word the word on the street let's go to the jasmine brand <clears throat> okay the jasmine brand let's see <clears throat> i saw a clip with Grandpa Gordon going off on Mia about sleeping with some man. Y'all gonna get enough of trying to find and look for these old ass floppy dick ass niggas and then thinking like it's gonna, it's unsustainable. That's the thing that you have to think about when you're trying to find a partner. Is this sustainable and how long can I sustain living like this? Right? Like the way she was talking on that clip was like, I'm not a gold digger. I've been helping you out with the money since you started suing your brothers. I don't agree that you're suing your siblings. And he was like, you need to um, tell the guy, um, you need to stop fucking with the guy. And this guy that she's bringing around, I haven't seen his eyes yet. I just see this black dude, dark skinned black dude with sunglasses on. Not sure why Carlos King has interviewed him already. But the way that y'all be making these random private citizens, public citizens and public figures and pup and giving them a, a spotlight and a platform before you even run a background check. Y'all be giving these niggas platforms and then be looking stupid and goofy and dumb when you realize the nigga ain't who he says he is. And, oh, I got an interview with him. Why are you interviewing this man with the sun? Did you, were you able to see his eyes, Carlos, at any time? Did he take his sunglasses off at any time? Girl, and don't act like these niggas don't be hopping on women and using them, Mia. Don't get used while you over here lovey-dovey all in the camera and shit. Girl, a lot of these niggas be attaching themselves to women to get the spotlight to get access to more women. And they just be using y'all. Look at Simon. That's what that's what he was doing with with Fallon. That's what he was doing with Portia. Fallon was beautiful, but she didn't have the spotlight like this other long tooth heifer has. Let me get with this long tooth heifer who girl slow down because I was about to get on Portia and this ain't even about Portia. Slow it down. I just put out. Let me back the tractor up. Let me back the tractor up. Let me go get with this fool and i can get more notoriety and get more access to women because what women see is if a man actually if you actually like this man there must be something great about him so i am going to abandon all 
my scruples and try to get with him, even though you're with him, I can walk in your house. Portia did the same thing, but all these men are doing is using these women to position themselves to get access to more women. That's it. Now that's what that, when I tell you that nigga looks like a slick nigga to me, that's running around with me, my, what's her name, Maya, Mia, that's running around with Mia, he looked like an old slick nigga to me. Like he's just waiting for the, the, for the DMs to get popping and he's going to bounce. That's what it looks like to me. An old showboat ass nigga. You don't want no nigga who wants to be in the camera more than you. Trust. Ask around. <laughs> okay? Ask around. Um, <clears throat> Dance Hall artist Spice accidentally reveals Jada Kingdom is allegedly pregnant. But who would she be pregnant by? Partisan? Oh. <clears throat> okay, girl. Um exclusive Nicki Minaj allegedly partnering with black owned shoe brand Loki L O C I um for a new collection. Okay, congratulations. It says exclusive SWV and Escape are going on tour together. Oh, so not a second season of the show, but a tour. I'm sure the cameras will be on tour with them if that's the case. <clears throat> Somebody said, who's going to open the show? <laughs> right. Who's going to did that girl pay her sister the money she stole from her? SWB better be headlining this again. <laughs> no, that's some of the comments. Um, exclusive Robin Dixon not returning to Real Housewives of Potomac next season. And that work sources tell us that the production is shaking up the cast, trying to revive the series. But you're going to keep the life sucker on? Giselle needs to go. Take that lady out of here. I don't know. It's the only thing that you can explain why she is here is colorism. I don't, there's nothing because there's nothing redeeming about her besides when she's interacting with her daughters and they, and they're not, they can't be her storyline anymore. But that's the only time she seems to have any redeeming qualities outside of that. She's a terrorist. Why is she still there? And why is she allowed to? That's the only, the only reason I can think of. It would be like Kim Zosiak being allowed to just stay on Real Housewives of Atlanta for nothing else but just to, to fucking, because I'm here, bitch. I'm here. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know. Remember when Nene asked you, why'd you get your own show? Why did Kim Zosiak get a show before Nene? Oh, because she had a whole bunch of fucking kids over there. Fucking snotty nose, red above red mustache kids over there. Is that what was going on? Girl. Anyways, Robin is gone. Bondi boo Blondie Blue. Bondi Blue, her first thing she said. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody said, now Juan can cheat in peace. Good. About time she can take Giselle and Neca with her. Bye, boring. Take your high yellow puppet master with you. Ooh. I bet her and Juan Dix Dixon will divorce quietly sooner or later. So Robin is robbing us of a lackluster storyline. Whatever will we do? <laughs> Y'all be tearing their asses up. Somebody said, bring Monique back. No, she needs to stay gone too because low key. Y'all didn't show her that she was the girl y'all said she was when she was on Potomac. She went over to another show and didn't nobody follow her there. So what is it really giving? Okay, thank you. Bobby Brown says his late children, Bobby Christina and Bobby Jr. visit him in his dreams. It helps me out in a big way. That's beautiful. That's so sad when I think about all the death around Bobby Brown. It's really sad when you think about it. It's a lot of death around him. Premature death. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't even say premature untimely because it's not untimely. It's literally divine timing. And it's just how things are supposed to go. And there's really nothing that you can do to change someone else's course and what their journey is here to do or what impact they're here to do. And however small amount of time they're here to do it. You just, that's not in your control. It's something you cannot control. One thing that's guaranteed is that we are all going to transition up out of this piece. And hopefully while you're here, you're collecting achievements that'll allow you to ascend to the next level and not come back down to this motherfucker. So hopefully you acting right. Hopefully you playing the right roles in people's lives. Hopefully you are learning your lessons. Hopefully when them, that zombie is, is on the right side, on the right corner, once you hit the corner, hopefully your ass will make a left, bitch. Hopefully. 
okay shit oh i gotta go y'all it's, it's 8 30. i gotta go kim kardashian and odell beckham split after six months of dating girl it was a good ride honey it was a good ride um comedian godfrey stance on the n-word listen let me tell you something y'all can't police words only only thing you can do is apply a consequence another thing you cannot control what comes out of somebody's mouth you can't control it so whatever comes out of their mouth comes out of their mouth it's the consequence that matters and people can say what they want you cannot police words you can't you can't and if somebody wants to say something they can say something and if somebody decides they don't want to say it anymore it's be, it, as a way to kind of i don't know placate to a group of people stop doing that too i'm gonna say what i want to say and the consequences will just come with it if if i don't want to have a filter one day and i want to fly off the wall and say some crazy ass shit, then i will have to suffer the consequences it doesn't mean i'm not allowed to say what i want to say when people oh it's a free country that don't have nothing to do with what comes out of your mouth that's freedom of speech and press against the government okay it don't have nothing to do with me and you in my opinion you it's free speech it's a free country girl shut up at the end of the day, you're gonna say what you want to want, what you want. You cannot police words. And let me tell you something. That is that's a job that I don't want to have. When people, oh shit, and I don't want to police. What is the other thing y'all be policing? Um, blackness, all these social structures and 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 things that were created that y'all be like going hard for. It's wild as hell to me. But again, it's a everybody's journey and everybody's learning at a different rate. And everybody will come to different levels of consciousness when it's time for them to arrive at that place. When you get off on the elevator, you're on that floor, on that level, see the board, work the level, le learn your lessons. Don't hit the corner going right where the zombie is. Make sure you make that left because if you don't learn the lesson, it's going to show up again. So as it shows up, know the lesson, apply the lesson. And then keep moving forward grab your tools on the way be kind to people on the way don't let people mistake your kindness for weakness and let their ass snow chop they motherfucking soft if you need to and that's just how life goes girl but at the end of the day you can't control what comes out somebody's mouth so how do i feel about the n-word girl it's a vibration behind it i can tell whether or not i can act i can actually tell whether or not you're trying to say it and what how you're trying to say it i can tell so that's it but i don't have the time to have the badge on the ancestry board badge the race badge i don't have time to have on the language ba badge i don't have time to have none i don't have time to police it there are other jobs for me to do in this ecosystem if you want to police words and run around policing people's identities and policing people's um genetic makeup and you're not this and you're not that and you're this and you're that and you're not black and you're not this and you're not that i don't have time so if that's the job that you want be more than i'm grateful and happy that you're running around policing and with your badge out i don't have a badge thank you anyways y'all take care of each other i gotta go take care of each other protect your energy center yourself let's get down in the comments peace